from Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, it's home and family. Uh, we have with us today sports doctor Bert Mandelbaum, and he is the author of the book, the, uh, the Win Within. He's here discussing the pros and cons of running as we get older. Welcome. I, at the heart, am a runner, and I feel like for a true runner, there's no finish line. I've always had that, and yet, I can't run today. I'll share my story in a little bit, but we're going to open this up and right. to run or not to run. Well, you know, it's great to see this crowd, this family today, because we are what we eat, we drink, we think, and what we do. Uh huh. And running can and should be a part of our life if it can be. Right. But it's like every other prescription. We have to have exactly what the quality and the quantity is. So. Well, if we are what we eat, Mark is two bags of large potato chips, because that's what he ate last night for dinner. <laughs> I saw him do it. That's because you provided me with them, well, saying, we were here, at, at Jones, yeah. these are amazing. Yeah, we, you should have those. We went to Jones on 3rd, and I said, I want you to taste the pota these potato chips. It's the best ever. And so he ate two bags of them. Yeah. And now I have to run. Now he has to run, okay. <laughs> now, Mark, whether you've been considering, uh, you've been a runner all your life, or just considering taking up for the thrill, mm -hmm. you're going to want to stick around, because next you're going to have to hear what Dr. Bert Mandelbaum has to say. So stick around. <laughs> Dr. Bert Mandelbaum is the author of a book. It's called The Win Within, Capturing Your Victorious Spirit. And here today to talk about challenges runners may face as they age. We're going to chat about this. Welcome, first of all, doctor. Um, it's a, your book is quite a, quite a name, Win Within. The Win, win Within, within. Yeah. empowering each of us to discover that the win is really within. What are we, what are we covering here what, within this book? Well, this book really is an opportunity to, again, empower each of us that as we look and we access and we discover that, in fact, the win is always within us. Right. We and just have to know how to find it. How, to how do we access that? Because sometimes we fe feel defeated, you know? Well, that's why we came up with these five principles, what were really important. It's a matrix that we live. Mm -hmm. The first, as I mentioned before, we are what we eat, what we drink, what we think and do important. Right. It's running, cycling, doing whatever it is, watching exactly how we eat, how we think, mm -hmm. spiritually, how we interact. Secondly, it's about optimism. Keeping optimistic, passionate, positivism are key to everybody and everything we do. Mm -hmm. The third, we have to keep things fresh all the time. We have to have new discoveries, adventures. As I say, create rich experiences in our life. Fourth, it's about relationships, three mm -hmm. kinds. We have to have our home team, our families. Mm -hmm. We have to have our work team. We have to have mentors. And lastly, we have to be compassionate towards people to make us feel of value. It's the highest form of human emotion. Right. And the fifth, it's all about character and values, doing mm -hmm. what's right 100% of the time. You, I like that. We talked about you know, the running aspect, and we were talking, <laughs> chatting this up in the commercial break, actually. You talk about exercise, yet you faced a setback early on for you or when you started running your back surgery? Well, I was minding my own business after skiing uh, eight hours at Snowboard, watching my six-year-old daughter. Just standing there, I was sideswiped by a snowboarder, had to have back surgery, foot drop. My back surgeon said, no more running. So. I learned a major lesson of vulnerability. You know, here I am solving everybody's problem. I had my own issue. I was down. How to, how to adapt to that? How did you adapt to it? Well, like I say, the word adversity unleashes this powerful spirit in all of us. Mm -hmm. If you look at athletes of any kind, Special Olympic, premier athletes, what happens is it's unleashed and all of a sudden you develop a new solution. There, I, we share a very similar path because I, in college, lost an ACL anterior cruciate ligament and medial meniscus. I loved running. I had back surgery as well and had years of running that I just loved. And now I cannot, and I still want to. But my question to you is, I've, everybody that I've ever talked to, and I don't know, do you, do you guys run at all? Are you runners? Yes. Yeah, not I, so much now, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. You learn to crawl, right? Um, is I've heard that running is one of the worst things you can do for your body when it comes to joints and whatnot. Now, am I misinformed, or has yeah. that message been out there before? Well, it's like that old curve, you know, too little and too much. You've got to be right smack in the middle of that, and it changes whether you've had a previous injury to your joints 
whether you're younger or older. So it's key to find quality and quantity that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. We all have to exercise. We have to continue to do it every step in our lives. Do you have to do it every day? Every day. Oh, oh. And don't every the day. Turf make a difference. Yeah. yeah, that's a good because question. Because I know, I know that it is. It can be really, really trying on your knees and your ankle joints. But if you've got like proper shoes and you're running on the proper turf, then it it completely changes it. No. I'm not telling everybody to run every day. Mm -hmm. But whether it's yoga, Pilates, whether you like to stand up paddle, whether you like to do Insanity or PX90 or yeah. any of those CrossFit activities. Every day, you need to do something. Just well, move, something. like you're saying. Yes. Get out there and move. Yes. Let, let me ask you something. For, for women my age, and I'm pat, you know, menopause, I worry about what, you know, people say, oh, she fell down and broke her hip. But I understand the hip breaks and then you fall. So I worry about osteoporosis. I love Good to point. run. I love yes. the feeling of that high you get from running. I love the sweat. I love everything. And, and I should I still be running at this age? Yes. Oh, good. And, okay. Right. And, and again, it's it's a matter of dose. I'm worried about my bones. Is of course. Breaking. It's a matter of dose. You don't want to be in the high end. You don't want to be in the low end. And you need to blend in all the other aspects. But, okay. The yes is the short answer. The more specific is how do you find that, doctor? How do you know when? It becomes too much because I've always said no pain, no gain. Right. If she's just running and not really challenging oh, herself, but challenging. if she goes too far, yeah. it could lead to injury or exactly. So where do you find that? How do you locate that? That's the matrix, and that's one of the things we talk about in the Win Within: how to find the the matrix, understanding what the requirements are for someone who's young, someone who's older, someone who's menopausal. Mm -hmm. All those issues are very critical to what we call sports medicine. Well, I'm not running so much these days because I'm pregnant. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and six days from now I will have a child. But then I heard, no, actually it's okay to run while you're pregnant. Is this correct? Is this pregnant or I don't just know. pregnant? This is what I'm hearing. Well, we don't, in your case, we don't want to start right now, but there's a <laughs> tremendous amount of very good scientific evidence that really says that for baby and mother, we'll do much better with pregnancy if they run, if they've done it before. So it's a good thing before. to do. I'm coming off of a broken ankle. Um, I broke my ankle a couple of months ago, and one thing, just to kind of go back to your point, that my physical therapist was actually telling me was that, you know, the whole no pain, no gain, that's the kind of workout person I am, six days yeah. a week, and it's got to yeah. hurt. Yeah. But he was saying that, you know, you have to kind of gauge the pain. If it's pain like, oh, no, if I keep going, I feel like something's going to break, that's the pain you stop. But if it's pain like... Okay, this is, just, this is just discomfort, I'm uncomfortable, yeah. and you know, I, I feel like I can press through, but I just really don't feel like it. That's the kind of pain you can push through. How do you, what, what do you say Remember that? that curve, too much or too little. We don't want to create stress fractures in right. certain individuals. We don't want to create injury. We want to optimize the benefits, minimize the risks. Mm -hmm. And to do that is understanding the quality and the quantity of exercise. What about plantar fasciitis? I suffer from plantar fasciitis. Oh, and if anybody so out there, what, is the, what is it? It is basically the tendon from your big toe to your Achilles isn't long enough and you have to stretch it and stretch it and stretch Ooh. it. And this oh. is something I've had for years, doctor. I had rolfing, I do the stretching, I put that weird thing on that you sleep with that makes your toe pop up. Yeah. Everything yeah. is not very attractive, but nothing helps. What do you say? I, mean, I love to run. It's you and two million other Americans have plantar fasciitis. Very common thing, and obviously the basics of stretching, the physical therapy, then you go to the injections, and now we have shockwave therapies that have been very exciting in terms of those people who are refractory to those other basic things. Okay. So you mean you can take the pain away? We can't take the pain Maybe away. Maybe you can take your high heels off, too. Oh, you oh, sound yeah. like my Sorry. mom. It's oh, not the high heels. heels. I miss <laughs> high heels. I'm Thank telling you. Thank you so much for okay. being with us, doctor. And don't run in high heels. It's never <laughs> don't well advised. wear them. You okay. can pick up the win within uh, his new book, which foot. is available. Coming up next, actor Joe Morton's here talking about his role